let's open another tab and we're going to call this blog search. Now, the information we're going to post here um, comes from a really interesting tool called Google Blog Search. And what Google Blog Search is, is a search engine that only looks up information among all of the blogs on the internet. So this is a great way to be able to see and gauge consumer perceptions regarding your brand and really any keywords you'd like to um, investigate. So to check that out, um, we're going to go open another tab and go to Google Blog Search. To do that, just go to the Google homepage, click the More uh, drop-down uh, menu, go to Blogs, and here is the Blog Search homepage. To search blogs, um, you just type a keyword here, just like you would on the normal Google web search. So what we'll do is just look for the, the uh, company name, Guayaquil. You can see there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of posts that mention the brand name Guayaki. Now you may be wondering, well, why are some of these dates out of order? By default, these will be listed by what Google terms as a relevance. What we want to do is sort them by date. So you just go up to the right side of the page and click sort by date. And there you have it. It is the newest first and just goes in descending order. So what we want to do is get this search result again and put it in our dashboard. To do that, you just click the RSS link over here. Same process. You're just going to get the, um, the feed URL on the top, copy it with Control-C, go to Yahoo, and we're going to add that content to this tab. the search results and we're going to hit done and that's the process for adding information via the Google blog search so you could go to any of these uh, blogs in particular I'll just open this one in a new tab and uh, we'll check out what they said about the company Guayaki and it looks like it was just an event that Guayaki sponsored um, good little note is just hit control F in most browsers to find anything um, then you could type in the search term Guayaki and there it popped up so if you wanted to you know you can add a comment down here and say hey this is so and so from Guayaki just wanted to thank you for mentioning us we had a great time at your event and you know that can give a blogger a lot of confidence and make your brand really stick in their mind and hopefully they'd give you more coverage in the future. So we'll close this and go back to the dashboard. So the last tab I'll create is just a tab that lists um, headlines that I'm interested in from other blogs across the web. So I'm going to click this tab, hit OK, and let's say since we're Guayaki, we're into Yerba Mate, we're looking for sustainable um, living kind of information. Let's just call this sustainable news. So what I'm going to do is open a, uh, another browser window and open up in Habitat here. What you can see is they have an RSS feed for the entire site or um, they have RSS feeds for each section of the site which is common among bigger blogs. So I'm just gonna go and subscribe to the RSS feed for the entire site and again we get the feed page and same thing all we're gonna do is highlight the URL and I'm sorry and copy the URL and then go back to my Yahoo add content add RSS feed paste it and the same process. One thing you could use headline RSS feeds is for uh, Twitter updates. So if you're the kind of Twitter user that just posts relevant information, so for example sustainable or green living, you could quickly look at um, multiple sites and uh, the articles they're posting and grab interesting content for your readers and post it on uh, your Twitter page. So anyway, that's a brief overview of the social media dashboard, how to set it up and use it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, um, or suggestions, please feel free to write them in the comments section below.